Hello everyone, this is Lucas Horklox and welcome back for more Tells Destiny 2. Last time I showed you how to do all the plus version recipes and um and today we're gonna actually go uh, gonna go to the cat's village. So uh I decided to actually show you just in case if you guys forgot where it is. Even though I mean it's so easy. <laughs> oh hey look, a treasure! I forgot to get that. Hold on. Oh, that's weird. It's probably when my uh, my first time when I came to the Fitzgold region. Oh no, it's a Sabery. Oh, okay. TP recovery. Yeah, give that to Harold. Alright. Wait, you know what? I think I saw something when I saw... Uh, no, it's okay, never mind. I thought that was like some... That was like a little pile of rubble in there that I could inspect or something like that. Kind of like in the alternate timeline. Yeah, I was kind of... um When I was rendering some videos, I, uh, I kind of saw that. And I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. Oh, anyway, yeah. The Cat's Village, if you don't remember, it's on top of the mountains north of Heidelberg. So, and this video, it's just going to be on the Cat's Village. It's kind of, it's going to be short again. So, <laughs> well, the last one wasn't that short, but um, maybe through editing it will be short. I don't know. All right. So, I'm just going to save my game. And I want to, I want to tell you this. There is one weird thing about this village, and it's, kind of consistent with the whole Cats Village references in Tells games. I, I, I really, I, I'm like super curious, what the fuck is this supposed to be? Um, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about the village, by the way. We're in the Cats Village, yay! Oh, uh, it looks so kawaii. <laughs> anyway, in this village, we can get like some really good stuff, but like ingredients, but um, I'll go over them later. So right now, I think this guy, yeah, he sells just items and I need some app, app, no, orange gels and pine gels and life bottles <laughs> dark bottles maybe okay i like the song in here <laughs> it's so weird welcome to the nekonin village okay um oh ain't that freaking cute he's scratching nya, nya, nya. <laughs> anyway um yeah we can buy some really we, we can buy some food items in here and i think most, some of these are really good i guess i don't know I think you could just buy all your essentials here anyway. Alright. Anyway. Speak with this guy. This is the weird thing I'm talking about with the whole cat's village thing. Just speak with him. He'll ask, Oh, do you want a mushroom? Um, okay. Okay, hold on. It what the fuck? <laughs> what is that? And it doing that fully heals your party, so it's like staying at an end. But, okay, let's just enter here. What the fuck are these things? Seriously, what the hell are these things? Okay, I guess they're like little mushroom people, but what the fuck? Uh oh no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't get it. They appear in every cat's village in the Tells game, like in Tells of... Uh, um, in Tells of Eternia. Um, I'm towards the end of the game now. And, uh, and I visited the cat's village, and there's just, like, one of these little guys. I don't think they're alive. I think this is just, like, a little drawing or something. And I was like, oh, so this is where they came from. And then, uh, I don't know, in Telsiphonia, do they have do they have these guys in Telsiphonia? Because I know there's a cat's village. But, um, then in Tells the Reaper, they show up again. And I'm like, and then in Tells the Destiny Remake, they show up again. And I'm like, what the fuck are these things? <laughs> Look at them. Look at their little feet. Look at their beady eyes and their weird ears. Look at them. What the fuck are these guys? <laughs> They're so weird. I'm sorry if I'm freaking out, but it's like, what the hell are these things supposed to be? <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I should be like, like if the, uh, if I should take them as adorable or weird. Anyway, yeah. Apparently, these guys are little nokos, which are mushroom people, and in order to heal us, they just like the cats people take their ears off, and then I don't know. I guess we eat them or something it's pretty gross but i don't get it what's the relation between cats and mushrooms that's what i want to know all right let's just head into this hut huh oh oh fine i'll take my shoes off there even though my sprite doesn't do it but yeah okay yeah this is so weird i love the village too but it's just like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't think there's anything interesting in here, but <laughs> I love the cats people though. They look so adorable. The, um, 
I didn't know that they actually were in Tales of Destiny. They are. Do you know those little, those, those little kids that dress in kitty in kitty pajamas? Yeah, those are cats. And I did, I just didn't took the time to like make that connection. I'm like, oh yeah. Up so apparently the whoever developed the tell um that game the NPCs or one, they were like, oh man, you know you made such an adorable job on those little children. We should make like a entire village full of cat of people in kitty pajamas. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, yeah, I don't think there's anything here to do, but, if we talk to this yellow cat, yeah, apparently this cat is not from this village, he just came into a, into here because he has a weird dialect, so, he wants to live here, but we need to give him a name, yeah, we'll give you a name, okay, well, we decided to go think about a name, we're not, we can't name him yet, we have to go talk to another cat somewhere. Not in this village. Um, make a small offering? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> I can't even tell if I lost gold or not. But, um, alright. Oh, there's a treasure chest there, by the way. Alright, let's just enter this house. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, you're getting your cat costume, your kitty pajamas done. Okay, see ya! Uh, it's kind of weird, a lot of people kept saying like, Oh, these are non-humans, but no, no, they're not. They're just a bunch of fucking people wearing kitty pajamas. Oh, you're different too. Oh yeah, you have like dog ears, so people, you're, you're unpopular here. Oh, that is so sad. <laughs> I think if you inspect here, you get a Magoro gummy, a tuna gel. Disgusting. Now, there's actually a cat here, you want to talk to him, and apparently... This one thinks he's a fucking ninja, so he's a cat, cat nin, cat nin, cat ninja. <laughs> All right. So you probably were wondering if you go outside. Yeah, there's a treasure chest there, but we can't get to it, and we can't melt this little cat snowman. It's so adorable, by the way. So if you go into this house, you'll see like this little weird rot, like this weird crack on the wall. So use the sorcerer scope, inspect it, and break the shit out of this wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Sorry. Um, we can't actually go here yet. So we want to just go back out. Let me see how you're supposed to do this. Uh. Okay, exit out and go in the middle. Oh yeah, we want to go here then. Okay, we want to go to this house. Ow, my ears. Okay. And now speak with the yellow cat? There's no yellow cat. Oh, I think we have to, we can do this later. First, we need to go name the fucking cat. So, um, that's all that we can do right now. I'm actually gonna go. Uh, I'm actually gonna go to Snowfear because that's where we can continue this little sub event with naming this cat. So, um, I'll just meet you guys at Snowfear. All right, we're back in Snowfear, and we have to speak with another cat person here, which is hidden over here. There we go. All right, I guess, do we speak to him again? No. Okay. Oh wait, what did he say? He said something, hold on, I want to see. Maji Omaru, okay. Um, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna do this in real time because it's freaking quick. Let's just go back to the cat's village. We just wanted to speak with that guy. Um, now I believe we can name the guy, we can name the cat. And I think we can actually just name him anything we want. We, it doesn't like um just just you know just for plot related purposes. It just gives him an auto a diff, like like a standard name or something like that. <laughs> okay, now let's go back in here and talk to the yellow cat again. Yeah. Okay, so his name is for now is Ninen no Kone Konin. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just take this crap out. Oh, man, what should I name him? Uh, you know what? I'll name him after one of my favorite things. <laughs> Wait, since it's on him on a P or something, I think it should be in Katakana, so. Um. Okay, where's the P? Oh, here it is. Oh, gosh, I can't. Oh no, my fucking TV screen! What is that, the circle or the voice? I believe this one is the circle, okay. P... Yo... 
<laughs> That's it, I'm just gonna call him P.O. Dude, uh, I'm gonna name them after my favorite status effect, is when you get peeped. Because I can always say, oh, I got P.O'd! There you go, yeah, your name is P.O. There you go. <laughs> yeah, his name is P.O. <laughs> Alright. Now, let's see, let's try to leave the village and then enter back again. Because maybe... Now we can actually tell him to do something. Yeah, there you go. He now he should be in the middle house. There he is. Hi. Yeah, we can take you to a, for a walk, I guess. Okay, now he's gonna follow us. All right. So now we want we want to do is we want to lead him towards this house here, and then he'll inspect that wall again, the one that we just broke. There you go. Yay, and he got the treasure chest for us because we can't we, we couldn't actually go there. We didn't fit. So yay, we actually get some really good boots. We got the Persian boots. And that those are some really good um Well in most games they're an accessory, but because of the way the equipment works in here, it's not. It's just another piece of armor or something like that. But they're really good. Like, um not they give you like really good mobility. Uh they also give you the highest SP recovery and and evade out of all the boot, um, equi boots equipment, so that's really nice. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna give that to Kyle as always. And I'll give the nightmare boots to, I guess, Loney. There you go. And... Nah. N n nah. Alright. So, that's basically it that we... That's all that we can do in the cat's village, it's just so you can be fucking adorable around here, get some food ingredients and whatnot. Oh, and get fully healed for free. Um, now, remember back way- well, not way back when, but when we went- when I, um, first told you about the Grim weapons, and I said, like, Oh, the Grim weapons are special because you can get level 8 slots in them. No. Um, I did say that you can act- there's a shop where they sell the Grim equipment. I believe. Um, it's actually in here, but it hasn't shown up because we need to, um, we need to have the Aqua Labyrinth accessible first, and it's only if you're on the second playthrough, or, or more. So, once we get, once we open up the Aqua Labyrinth, we want to come back here to buy some, purchase some equipment here, so that way we can transfer some really good slots. So, yeah, this this is that that's what I was talking about about the shop. I don't know who the fuck sells it in here, who starts the idea of selling grim weapons in here, but yeah, you can buy them here only after you access the Aqua Labyrinth thing and, and you're on your second playthrough. So anyway, I think that's it that I wanted to do here. I probably should end the video then. Um We're kinda getting close to all doing finishing all the stuff that we can do on the world. So, um the next part you know what? No, no, no. Oh, gosh. Uh, they casted magic, right? Yeah, they did. I remember. Okay. I was going to end the video, but you know what? I have enough time to fit this other guy in, into this part, too. All right. Just fucking beat the shit out of these... What are these called? Centurions or whatnot? Satyrs? Okay. Ooh, what the fuck is that? The chan it says something. Chansu Gureva. Oh, it gives us the chance slot, increases our luck. Anyway, oh, by the way, <laughs> I was going crazy. Remember when I kept saying, like, uh, after the end of battle, there was, like, a message popping up say, and I, that said something about slot levels increasement, and I thought that said Nonali? I checked it back. I am going crazy. It never said Nonali. What the fuck? Why did I thought that said Nonali? It was saying Herald. Um, yeah, so, I'll be so killer if I can get a level 8 slot out of this. Okay. Alright, you know, yeah, let's just go do this one. Because one is like, he's like right here. Yeah, we want to go to the 10A blacksmith, um, guy. Because I want to explain how he works. What? You can't land in snow? Oh, no, you can't. Alright, I'm just going to save my game. Okay, now the 10 a blacksmith. You know when I said that the that the seed planting side quest literally takes hours. 
<laughs> There's something even worse. Yeah, this guy. Okay. Talk to this guy, and apparently he's a blacksmith, and he wants to be the best blacksmith in the world. How nice of him. But he needs our help. So, okay. Here's the deal with this guy. The blacksmith... I, I actually never done this side quest before. I just kind of just... I didn't care. But, um, I'm gonna try to do it. I don't know. It's gonna... Like, it literally... You watch. Okay. The way the blacksmith works is says you want to pay him gold for development support before you can make a, a request for pieces of equipment such as weapons or armor and it can be character specific now for requesting uh, productions for those type of equipment you need at least 10,000 gold and you have to keep donating the guy a lot of gold in order to level up his experience now he starts at level 1 and he has, and every level, every five levels, I believe, or, or something like that, has, like, a unique title for him. So, for level, for his level, like, he, he starts at level one, so level one through five, he will be called the beginner blacksmith. And then after level five through ten, he will be called unskilled blacksmith, and, you know, he'll keep progressing through his rank. Now, here's the thing that sucks balls. For every 17 seconds... 100 gold equals one fucking experience point. Yeah, he has experience points. And required experience points for level up equals... This is like a formula I'm telling you. So required experience for level up equals the current level times the current level. And so... Now, he, the maximum amount... The maximum um, level that he can get, the ultimate level, the blacksmith monkey... <laughs> um... It's at level one. It's at level 127, and because of the whole that it also takes time in order to get experience for this guy, it literally takes 137.76 days in order to get this fucker into level 127. That's right. A I'm not. I'm not joking here. 137.76 days. Wow. That is unreal. I don't know if they fucking changed this in the PSP version, but what the hell? Like, and the reason why I want to do this is because this is this is a good chance where you can get level like slot equipment. So this is another way besides the seed hunting side quest. I mean the seed planting one. So it sucks. Oh, and you also need a lot of sh a lot of money. You need a tons shit of money in order to make this guy into god status it is that unreal that's why i never done it because 137 days are you shitting me <laughs> wow what that is just wow <laughs> and you know i don't think you can carry over his experience to the next playthrough so the next playthrough you go through um you go through with the guy again i mean you go with the guy again you have to do this shit all over again but again because you're doing all of this for equipment as long as like I said before as long as I think the idea is try to get as high level equipment as possible so that way you don't have to redo the side quests again because you can just inherit the slots after you beat the game <gasps> excuse me so he this this is uh, he's he's fucking unreal it's just <laughs> it's insane I can't believe this <laughs> All right, yeah, that's basically what I'll what I just explained. So anyway, we have three options here. One, we can donate money to the guy. Um, we can also request for equipment, although we can't do that because we need to give him some money first. And this one just gives tells us the, expo the whole explanation again. So yeah, and you can only donate a set of gold here. So I'll just donate a hundred thousand, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, hi, hi. There you go. Now, now that you've done that, I believe you can request for equipment. And now you have the option to do either um, weapons or armor. So, uh, let's do... Let's do armor, I guess. And now we can actually get um, different types of, of armor, such as, you know, a body gear... Um, headgear, 
uh, and, and all whatnot. So you know what? I think I'll just do body gear for for my for my physical attackers. So there you go. And yeah, it, every time you request a you request for development, it takes like I said, um, ten thousand gold or something. I don't, I don't know. So yeah, that's it. So let's see. I I wonder if he actually finishes it if we just come out and come back here again. Oh no, so wait, what did he say? Yeah, I think he just told me it's gonna take like fucking 8 minutes and 53 seconds in order to make this, didn't he? Let me just make sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. You have to actually have to wait like minutes in order to make for this guy to do anything. So that's the Tenne the Blacksmith. <laughs> I am gonna try to do it, you know, like uh, as much as possible. I don't even have that much gold. Jeez, I need to find a way to get a lot of gold. But um, that's basically it. We're bi we're actually done with all the extra stuff that we can do. Um, so next time we can go to the final dungeon now. But I do want to show off a few things, like the mini games and whatnot, like the waiter mini games. Um the pilot one I want to at least show off all the, the rest of the courses that I didn't do uh, I want to see if I, I'm gonna try my try my luck at the arena a bit and yeah I just want to try to do as complete as much as possible so until the next part we're gonna be doing all that crap so see you guys until then bye <laughs>